Hello and welcome to another crafty challenge. Um, the challenge today is to fix this necklace. Um, this is one of my favourite necklaces and uh, it's a little bit wrecked. Let's see if I can get it a bit closer to show you. So it's all frayed where the stones move. bunched up where the thread has worn away. So I went to my local craft shop and I got some supplies. I have some cord and a replacement fitment and it all came to under a pound. So the challenge this week is to fix this necklace now, I've never made any jewellery before and never done anything quite like this. Um, so we'll see how it goes. It should be fairly straightforward. It will be attaching this to the cord, putting some knots in the right places and re-threading the stones. The fitment that I've got is slightly larger than the one that's already on here. Um, hopefully it'll work and if it doesn't then I'll try again but we, sh we shall see so the first step I think is to measure out what I need so I'm just going to draw with a sharpie I'm just marking in where the knots are. not perfectly straight but that will be a guide for me and the next stage will be to get everything off I don't know how long I've had this necklace for a long long time probably well over 10 years but I've still probably got clothes that are older than this necklace and they're still going and I suspect that I picked this up in some kind of craft stall but I really I don't remember at all to be fair Yeah, I've never done any beading before, so this will be an interesting little challenge for me. Oh, I hope this comes off. I'm pretty bad with jewellery. I'll put a necklace on and I'll wear it for about... Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty bad with jewellery. I will wear a necklace for weeks and weeks and weeks on end. 
forget to change it. All right, so I'm going to thread this through here. Can I get them both through? Let's hope so. challenge could be over before it's begun. Let's have a clean end, shall we? Right, any ideas, anyone? A needle? Let's try a needle. Got a bigger needle. It's the biggest one I've got. All right, then, let's try shoving it with a needle. Oh, good lord, I've got a real feeling this is going to be over before it's begun. for that. Right, step one. Whew. <laughs> I genuinely thought that that was going to be well and truly over then. Right. So I want the first knot to be here. This is a test because how do you actually get a knot in the exact right place? Pretty near. Do you know what? I'm going to guess that once upon a time those knots were in equal measures, so I think what I'm going to do is just pick one line, and this one seems to have three on it, and do that on both sides. So let's see if we can do that. Oh, we need to thread them first. Thread the beads. How difficult is this going to be? Oh, incredibly difficult. Right, one. I thought 
this would actually be really hard to get the knots lined up but actually actually that's easier than I thought as long as I can keep threading these properly What's happening is the thread is just. I wonder if I burn that, that would help. Let's give that a go. Right, so I've just burnt the end of this to stop it from fraying. I think that might make it easier to thread. Or I'll just put a big gaping dollop of hard plastic on there that won't thread. Who knows? How do the jewellers do this? Are they jewellers? Beaders? How do they do this? Right, so that's just put a dollop of plastic that won't go through the hole. I might not have any cord left by the end of it. Right. One, two, one goes here so I'm just holding my finger now at the point where I want the knot and then I am looping around the knot up to where my fingernail is and then measuring it here and then pushing the knot into place Maybe there, and then pulling it tight Is this necklace my favorite necklace well it's a little bit different and I don't go in for a lot of expensive jewelry um, I don't tend to wear lots of rings or earrings it's just not practical for me I just find it's not practical and all right I'm going to try and line up another knot so we can get it in the right place If you can get a thinner cord or if you can get beads or these little stones with uh, bigger holes in Over. 
sendiri. I didn't watch any tutorials before I started this. I just looked at the necklace and thought it's a bit of cord with some knots in, threaded through. I must be able to manage it. And so far, oh look, this one's got two holes in it. Can you see? It's got two holes in it. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought, well, it can't be that difficult to do. And what I'm concluding so far is that it's not terribly difficult to do. And move that over it's not terribly difficult to do but it's a little bit technical for me that is I don't often oh crikey what have I done I don't often do technical things I tend to when I'm creating I tend to uh, go by eye should we say That's good. Happy. Next knot here. Not to catch it. So yeah, lining up the knots is a little bit difficult but not terribly difficult. Fuzzy end again. Oh, that one's got two dots in it as well. strange. Right. They line up. That one's longer than the other. So I have failed a little bit here. So can I undo that knot? Of course I can. So those two line up. And then I want that one to come down a bit. It's lost a little bit of its rustic charm now. <laughs> Only because it's not so frayed and old. Right, I need to figure out how to do these end bits. Now, the lady in the shop told me that I basically just needed to crimp these in place and I could add a little bit of glue for a bit of extra support. So, I'm going to grab my glue and something to squeeze these in with. Right, I feel like I need to concentrate. There, 
need to cut that there. Right. Well, I'm feeling quite accomplished now. So let's put some glue in here. Oh, my glue was all clagged up. There we go. Oh, never rains, never rains. so it doesn't clog up in the future. Line that one up. Line that one up. I need to press it in. Okay, crunch time. How do I do this? Oh, I actually don't know how I do this. I squeeze one end in first and then the other. Maybe I should have watched a tutorial about how to do this. Right, squeeze them together. What do I do? guessing I need to make sure that this bit is very well squeezed together. I'll take my other side. Yay! It worked. I did, but it worked. I'll try again. No, no, fail. Oh. Um, do you have little clamps to hold these in place or something? Oh. <sighs> this is going to be really frustrating for people to watch. I can see that already. probably won't make it as a jeweller or a jewellery maker or a beader but if anyone knows of an easy make from scratch jewellery project then let me know right I'm gonna let that glue dry so essentially Quite happy with that. I think when the cord kind of settles down in its natural hanging position, yeah, really quite happy with that. So if that lasts another 10 years before I have to fix it again, I'll be very pleased because, as, as I say, the cord and the fixings on the end were less than a pound 
and maybe it's given somebody some inspiration to make their own sometime. So thanks for watching another crafty challenge. Uh, <laughs> I, I have got the next one planned already and um, that will be in a couple of weeks time. And if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Not a thumbs down. Give me a thumbs up. Um, that would be wonderful. And I will see you again soon.